doing? What's going on, party crashers? Make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO. You know you love me, and I love you too, boo. All right? Girl, we got some tea to talk about. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Now, you know she's another drama, all right? She's from Love & Hip Hop. They know how to pick them. I tell you, they pick the brokenhearted and the one that always got some drama. Girl, remember that time back in the day when uh, she got in trouble because how she did her seed? Yeah, she did her child real bad against them locker rooms, right? So now she's coming out in an interview, and she's telling the whole story and making it seem like it's the girl fault. She said that girl, her daughter, brought the edibles, and I guess it's some food that has some, um, some stuff in there, some stuff stuff. And she brought them to school, and she gave it to the whole class, and the whole class got sick, right? So she got expend suspended for that. And when she came up there, she was uh, so upset. She, you know, she, I guess she was yanking on it and stuff like that. She she tell from her perspective, but I'm like, girl, she know how to work the camera. I don't believe none. She say her music is violent, on TV is violent. And I, what I've seen with her daughter is violent. All her relationship with everybody else I see is violent. So, huh. Girl, bye. Anywho, girl, I'm going to show you the clip because I want to get your take on it. And then who's the fault? Is it the parent fault? Why would you have edibles, and you know, around your daughter where she can get to them? Does she know there were edibles? It don't matter if she knew or she didn't know the fact that she was available to get it. You get what I'm saying? You don't have stuff lying around where she's available to get it. I know she's a teenager, but you lock that stuff up. Even if you have alcohol around, you lock that stuff up. You know how teenagers are. You not like to sneak and do stuff. You lock it up. That's called being responsible, okay? Lock it up, all right? But let's roll the footage. Girl, this is Tommy. You know Tommy? That's the girl from Love and Hip Hop. And she's also a rapper, honey, okay? Mind you, she has a bad... um temper she got a real bad temper she need to go to anger management and also she has a bad drinking problem okay and she got a kid and she has a messed up relationship with her mother with a lot of people we have seen in the relationships she carry with adult people are very toxic so i can't imagine her relationship with kids but here she tries to clean it up okay that her daughter took edibles to school and she she blamed everything on her daughter, right? But it's like your daughter, how did did your daughter know how did your daughter know there was edibles? You know? You get what I'm saying? And if your daughter did know it was edibles, how did she find out from you, your influence? And if what why didn't you have those edibles locked up away? You know, you had it in a place where she could take them and bring them to school. You get what I'm saying? So, no, nah, it's still on the parenting in my book. So, you remember that time where Tommy got in real big trouble and she slammed that girl against the wall and, you know, the head and stuff. So, like I said, she tried to clear it up here. But I'm not going to play the video. I'm just going to play the audio because you know how they be getting. Uh, the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the breakfast alert. Yeah, they be getting real funny, and I don't got time for they mess, so we're going we gonna to listen, okay? Here we go. Um, you know how reports go. It was it was a lot put on that, and it wasn't like that at all. Like, my, my daughter, first of all, my daughter took uh, edibles to school, and she got a charge from that, from, you know, taking edibles to school. She took them to school. All the kids ate them, and basically they called me like, yo, your daughter, um, you know, all the kids was rushed to the hospital. So... That was like a real big deal for me. I was arrested. Is that true? Your daughter took edibles? Yeah, that's 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 facts. So mm -hmm. I was arrested when I was 15 years old. Um, you know how reports go. It was it was a lot put on to that point. But when I went up there, she wasn't even in class. So you know when she was, I was asking her to take me to the class. She said she don't know the class at. So I'm like, what? You don't know what the class? You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting agitated. And basically, she had on a hoodie, and I took the hoodie and you know what I'm saying, like jacked her up by the hoodie. 
Now they put all that extra on there, like that's slammed the head in the locker. Yeah, no, that I never slammed. Her. I took her by the hoodie, hooky, and you know, jacked her up against the locker, but slammed her head in the locker. Like I'm not gonna te- treat my daughter like that. Like that's not how we. So who seen it? Who was it? A- to that point, but when I went up there, she wasn't even in class. You hear that? You hear that? You see that? See. I don't know. I don't believe Tommy. I just think she's a liar, especially you guys know how I feel about reality stars. They all lie to save face. They learn how to lie and they learn how to be good on camera. But to me, she wasn't even that compelling on camera. Y'all go check out on a breakfast club, but I'm looking at her. I don't believe nothing she's saying. And I still think she may have issues. And she talking about a serious conversation with glasses. I don't know. With somebody talking to me about a serious... I like to see them eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? I got to see. Hello? What's going on in that brain? Because you know they say the eyes is the window of the soul. So I like to see in that window. But she got them blocked, right? And she want us to believe her truth. I don't know about that. But I'm going to need y'all to comment. Let us know what y'all feel. Do y'all feel that Tommy is telling the truth? And I guess she's the innocent parent. And it's all her daughter for taking them edibles. So do you think that she should have been more responsible, honey? And she, and if she, you don't... She shouldn't have to put her hands on her daughter. She, you get, it was just too angry. And then she already have a reputation. And then, God darn it, I'm tired of you parents. You're the hypocrite of it all. You out here being a mess constantly on TV. But when your daughter is doing the same thing, you do. Oh, it's a be a better damn example. Okay, girl. And it's another thing. I didn't want to bring it up, girl. But I was talking to my girlfriend, Kathy, yesterday, right? Now, Kathy said, girl, you know, because I was talking about her about the sex trafficking. I said, you know, the sex trafficking, I don't know if y'all heard, but they said it's real big in Atlanta, right? And I'm thinking to myself, I, why don't we hear and see more these mothers outrage about their missing daughters or what's going on with their daughters? I don't hear a lot of stories on, the, on you know, the media. And, you know, she like, well, you know, they try to cover it up and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, damn, who taking these girls? And how old are these girls? Are these the white girls, Latino girls, the black girls? What? Who? Who is the girls, you know? And, um, child... I don't know, honey, okay? It is a lot going on. And, shoot, you know, Atlanta known for the gay mecca. But why the focus is really not on the important things about finding out who's kidnapping these young girls here and who's doing this sex trafficking here. You know what I'm saying? You know, that should be the focus. And where are the mothers? But they said this, too. Okay, and then I was going to forget, but they said a lot of these girls out here in Atlanta, not saying all, but you have a lot of um, uh, escorting. It's very high escorting and stripping prostitution in Atlanta. And these girls that are prostitutes and stuff, they have kids, right? And their daughters and some of their sons is seeing their mother, you know, working adult work right in front of the eyes at a very young age. And some of these girls you know, are prepping their young girls to do that type of work too. And some of the girls don't care. And then some of the girls, they do care, but their kids see that. And these girls think their kids not going to remember when they get old because they be doing it right in front of their kids at a very young age. And they feel like when they get older, they're not going to remember that. And they end up, you know, being a part of that environment and that lifestyle, girl. Ain't that a lot? And then on top of that, you look in the real world, you know, shit, we, we in a stripper academic where the stripper, the price is really being pushed on it, you know, real, real hard from the males and the female. Ain't nothing wrong with it, do your thing. But, um, I'm concerned about these damn kids. Okay. Cause seem like ain't nobody caring about these damn kids. But comment, let us know what y'all, y'all care about those two R. Kelly. I want to know about these other kids going on. That's why R. Kelly had a house in Atlanta, probably because all this sex traffic going on and down here. You know what I mean? Shoot, but ain't nobody really talking about it. The reality shows ain't talking about it. These R&B, because you know, ATL, that's the music ground, right? A lot of these black artists here, they ain't talking about it. They know what's going on. 
Girl, no awareness. And if it is, I don't see much of it. They don't be proud and loud. But uh, let's go back to this comment. Girl, what you think about that? Ain't it a mess? Ain't she a mess? Did you hear it? Honey, I'm going to need y'all to comment. Do y'all blame Tommy? Do y'all believe Tommy? Do y'all feel sorry for Tommy now? I don't care what she brung up to that school. You shouldn't be. I mean, violence on violence. Now, you know this. I hope this girl don't grow up to be as violent, you know. She already rebellious. Girl, comment, like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Gossip Girl. You know you love me, and I love you too, all right? DJ, drop that beat.